So hey everybody, I thought I would just put up this video. Been thinking about you guys all day and um, some of you have wondered like, when am I finally gonna show the house and you know, be getting messages and stuff. So um, two things, the shed is done. It looks amazing. Um, I went to Home Depot today, I got paint. Um, it's going to be painted white and gray, like my old house. Um, white with gray trim, so very little gray. I think the doors are going to be gray. And maybe the window trim. I haven't figured it out yet. I'll, I'll get there when I get there. Um, and I had to buy some window... Oh, screen, extra window screen, just the screen part in the roll. Um, because these little crafty bastards are that's just that crafty bastards. That little screen that pops in the windows, they will pop that out, no doubt. Or they'll claw it, wreck it, whatever they want to do to it, but they're gonna they're definitely gonna pop it out. So I think I've developed an idea of taking some Gorilla Tape and outlining the interior of the window um, and then attaching it with Velcro. That way I can still have access to opening and closing the windows. It's on a locking system there's or tiered, tiered locking system. So there's like, I think four... I think four locks or four tiers you can open it um i'll show you guys when i when i show you but i thought this would double protect them um so if god forbid they got through one screen um i could easily replace it really really fast um i may even do two layers and there's trust me there's plenty of airflow plenty of air, two huge windows. Um, so I did that today. I intended to paint, but I got sidetracked yet again with running errands. And since nothing is basically around me, um, the girls and I, every time we would get a check or I needed to go get money out or make a deposit, whatever you want to, you know, call it we'd all get in the car we'd all go to b of a we'd go through the drive through well there's no drive through around here it's strictly you know atm um and i'm not being lazy i just like to take the girls with me so and i do not for one millisecond leave them in the car by themselves i don't care if i could see the car and i'm at the atm i will never ever ever leave them in the car by themselves um and that has nothing to do with weather. It's just my insanity. I just don't do that. So the I'm having such a brain fart. Um, title company um, owed me some money back, a significant amount. Thank God, bless the Lord. Um, so instead of a wire transfer, which I would have gotten charged for which I wish it would have just happened that way. Um, I said, okay, you know, the white wonder, let's go. Um, so we went to my old city and which, you know, the B of A is literally around the corner of the drive through. I thought, okay, pick up the check, put the check in, be done with it. Well, the check was made out to the trust. My name was not on the check. I mean, I'm, I'm the trustee, but it's like, um, and then the address was wrong on the check, which I didn't even know why there was an address. My address, my old address. So I was kind of like, um, what do I do with this thing? So, you know, go to my favorite person, my old realtor, my friend. And I'm like, uh, is this right? Is this cashable? What should I do? So tomorrow I have to physically go into the bank excuse me, and I've stated before, I don't have a debit card attached to the trust account. It's, you know, just old school 
So I got to go in, physically put it in, and then write a check against it if I want to transfer it to my personal account. It's just more hamster on a wheel shit. So we did that. And just, you know, things came up, phone calls came up. I accomplished a lot. Um, I don't feel like I'm accomplishing a lot, but at least whatever I set out to do on my list, I'm getting done. I mean, I may be sitting my ass down doing it, but um, I had this in the back of my mind, and I think I told you guys in a previous video, I was thinking about getting artificial grass in the front and maybe in the back. Holy Jesus Christ, the front, granted, it's not small, and I only had one estimate. I canceled all the rest of them because I figured it would be the same. $12,000. And I'm talking, you know, let's just call it 50 feet, maybe by, you know, okay, let's just call it 50-50 when you round off and, you know, corners and all that other crap. $12,500. I said, forget it. I'm not doing it. It's a waste of time. I would rather put my money into window coverings. You know, I mean, I can't, I can't deal with these paper blinds anymore. This was just a quick fix so I can have my privacy. So I finally got off my ass and called budget blinds. Um, they're going to come Monday to do an estimate because this is a very, very large window. This is 90 92 or 93 inches wide. Um, when I was at Home Depot today, I did see them as wide as 120. And then as there was nothing, it seemed to jump from 72 to 120. There was nothing in between. I guess it had to be like special order or something. So I'm going to drop some cash and get me some nice window treatment that I don't have to dick around with these little clips every damn day, put them down, put them up. It's ridiculous. So um, that's gonna happen Monday. I also called Costco. They were, um, two pieces were missing from the shed. Thank you, dear God. They were just little triangular pieces that go above the um, vent, the window vent, no, not the window vent shed vent so I mean it's it wasn't that important it needs to come in and I need to have it but I didn't need to have it in order for it to be built so once those pieces come in the guy that built the shed will come back and basically put in probably three nails and be done so I finally did that also not getting myself excited but I finally took it upon myself to, after, God, I want to say three months of trying to find a facility, a doctor, a hospital, whatever, um, in order to get a, and I know I'm going to pronounce this incorrectly, but I'm going to pronounce it how I pronounce it, transthoracic echocardiogram. Um, I am pursuing this for my own peace of mind. Um, because as stated before, again, heart disease, heart problems run generations back on my dad's side of the family. And I just, I just want it done. So I called a local hospital, which is not really, I mean, it's like 20 minutes away. And I know you're like, oh my God, you're such a baby 20 minutes. And I'm like, I know, but it's like freeway time. My understanding is these tests, they only do from one o'clock on. And these freeways here in the Bay Area, you have no idea. Like we are just one iota short of an LA freeway. It's, it's really, really, really bad. And there's no other way to get to my house. I take that back. I mean, there's one way, 10,000 stoplights later. Um, but so anyway... So I talked to them. I immediately emailed my doctor with the news. She immediately put in the referral. So I'm hoping either tomorrow or the next day, they're, they're supposed to call me 
to set up an appointment, but if I don't hear from them by Thursday, I'm going to call them. Um, because I've just got so much crap going on. It's like, <sighs> yesterday, was it yesterday? No, Sunday. Sunday, I actually just took the day off. It was weird. I mean, I'm having, I'm not going to lie, I'm having my depression. I'm having anxiety. I'm missing my home. But when it hits, it hits really, really, really bad. And that was one of those days. And I'm like, it's almost paralyzing. It's just like, I just sat here with the girls in my pajamas. And I think I got dressed briefly, like at three, just to take them for a W-A-L-K. They are all sleeping right now. So that's what I'm spelling. And, um... All I wanted was just to go home. I just wanted to go home. Oh, I just wanted to go to my other house. Let's put it that way. So, um, it was a hard day. It was a very, very hard day. And I don't know why waking up is still very hard. I guess because I still am not sleeping. Like, I'm getting a little bit better. My problem is not falling asleep. My problem is staying asleep. And then it doesn't help when um, somebody's scratching at the damn door to get out of the room. Um, I have let them out periodically. Um, there's a fan in there. There's a window, kitty condo, you know, futon. They're happy campers. They're, nobody's miserable. Nobody's yelling, screaming, crying. It's just a different way of life for them. Like, you know, let's get me out of this room. I want to go outside type thing. Um, and for those of you that have mentioned or, or commented, you know, are you ever going to let them out? Or, you know, maybe, you know, you can get a kitty run or something. I cannot do that. Um, you have to put myself, put yourself in my shoes. These are my babies. These are my kids, you know, dogs or cats. I have known every single one of these fur babies, um, some before they were even born in their mommy's tummy, literally the ones that are in the house right now. Would you take a risk at something happening to them? You don't know where I live. You don't know the surrounding areas. You don't know there's literally a freeway to the, I think, uh, southeast, west, to the east. Not that far. Not that I hear anything, but it's there. And then on the other side is a main, main street. Um, I would never, ever risk losing one, having one getting hurt, you know, having somebody go ballistic and run up a tree. And let me just tell you, gotta hate, love, whatever you want to call it. Again, AT&T. This whole city is like run by AT&T. For some reason, there's always work being done. There are wires. I kid you not. The pole that's holding the wires is in my backyard. And then outside is like a main generator. Um, I would never, ever want them to think it's a tree branch or, oh, I can climb on this and get electrocuted. I mean, there are a, a million factors. So, you know, you had seven years of your life one way, and now you get to have the rest of your life another way. We're all together. I'm taking the best care I can of you. I'm very fortunate enough that, um, by no means am I not struggling, but things are way different than 
having that loan hanging over my head. I mean, it's like I had to go into that office, as a matter of fact, to pick up the check today. Um, the loan people were three flights up. How ironic is that, right? The title company's downstairs and the old loan company's upstairs. Seven years I've been going to that damn office. And it's like I just, I cringe every time I walk into the building. So, you know, that being said, I want to keep them as safe and as happy and healthy as I can. So spare me the, you know, they need to get out or they need sunshine. I know plenty of people. That's what the word indoor cat means. Like they're indoor. So that's, it's my judgment. I'm sorry. I just got, that was Lexi. That was not me. Um, so yeah. So anyways, getting back to, I don't know where I got off of this crazy train. Um, I've just been really, really busy just making phone calls, doing what I need to do. Every day there's a list like tomorrow. I've already got my list done and I'm waiting to hear back from a friend of a friend who might have like a paint sprayer. That would be a blessing. That would be so much easier. Let me just tell you, I wouldn't have to sit there on a ladder in back breaking heat or just being on top of a ladder, stretching my neck and my back and all that stuff. Um, so I'm waiting to hear about that. But um, time's a ticking. I need these babies out of here. So I also got, I don't know if I told you, um, indoor-outdoor carpet. It's very, very, very super thin. But um, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. It's cheap. It can be replaced in a heartbeat. Um, it's not going to retain that much heat in the summer. Um, matter of fact, damn, 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 damn. There's a rug I need to get in the attic above the garage. Ah, it was in my mom's room. I was going to put it in there just to have a little thicker, just a little section. So, um, I moved in their futon by myself. I put the rugs in myself and the rugs had to be cut a certain way because the wood, um, like two by fours or, or, you know, exposed on the inside. So I did that. And I also moved in a kitty condo and trust me, there is so much room there. I'm going to put two more kitty condos in there. I'm going to put their litter box, their big, huge automatic water and food feeders. Um, it's going to be so nice to have their litter on one side and their food on the other side. And you know, the water always used to get really dirty and every time somebody would jump, you know, with their little paws and the water would just, you know, so there was so much room in there. There was even like little cat runs and stuff. So, um, I've been dealing with that, but anyways, so 20 minutes later, sorry. My bed is finally coming Thursday. My platform bed. Um, the shed hopefully will be finished. I mean, painted. God help me. Um, I'm hoping by this weekend. I'm not sure. But my goal in all this, again, is to have everything done. And then I'll do the video tour. Um... You'll be seeing the shed without them in it. Um, as of now, I'm not showing any more. You know, you'll see the girls, Casey, Kamali, and Lexi, um, Charlie, Mika, Frisky, and Misha. But um, the others are going to be on the DL. I'm not putting them up anymore. Um, that's just personal decision because I'm in a different city and... Lexi, Lexi, you gonna sneeze, baby? Noodle, noodle, you okay? She woke herself up. I think she has to sneeze. Well, she got something in her eye. So, anyways, um, that's 
basically what's going on is I've just been busy every day and making phone calls and running errands and um, trying to keep upbeat. You know, it's, it's really hard because I keep... Yesterday I went to go get a smog check. I went to the bank. I went to Walgreens. And Kamali was with me for everything. Um, and, you know, there's no pet signs on the bank. There's no pet signs on Walgreens. It's not like I walk in there and she's walking on the ground. I'm carrying her. Um, but if you tell me to leave, I'll leave. But I'm in, I'm out. I'm not sitting there, you know, talking to people or wasting time or, you know, putting her in the basket or anything like that. So, um... You know, that was on my list yesterday, so that's done. I still have to call the DMV for the fourth time to try to get some information as to what is happening with my license. I have moved. I have already changed my address on the DMV website. Coincidentally, my vehicle registration um, is due this month. I think it's due next month. I mean, next week. So that's why I got the smog check. So I filled out the change of address on the back. So once I get my tags, or I don't, I, I can't get an answer from the Department of Motor Vehicle in the state of California as to what do you do? Are you physically going to send me another one? which I don't think so because that would cost money and God forbid should, you know, the state of California drop some cash. Um, or do I need to make an appointment and take a new picture and get a new license? Nobody gives me a rat's ass answer. So the last call I made, it was, okay, do your registration, do your change of address on there, and then we'll go from there. And I'm like, I, I don't understand what you're saying. I just got so tired. I was on the phone almost an hour and 20 minutes on hold. That's how long it takes. So hopefully, once my registration is complete, I get the tags. I'm legit. I get the new registration in my hand, stating the new address. Maybe and only then I can call and say, look, I've done everything I need to do. How do we get me a new license? Because I need it changed. Because eventually, and I've, I've been kind of on the slow team, I need to uh, buy new checks. But um, I was like, well, I don't want to buy new checks, change the address of the check, and then I have an old license. So I kind of want to coincide, do the license first, and then do the checks. Um, I don't write checks. As much as I used to, if anything, I write um, checks for my insurance or my health care um, insurance. So, you know, they understand that, yes, I just moved. These are just, you know, it's a temporary thing. But um, I want a new license. So I'm not looking forward to that. So anyways, I've taken up enough of your time. My apologies. Um just want to let you guys know what's going on. So you will see me, God willing, the next time will be the house tour unless um, something else pops up and I decide to tell you guys about it. So right now everybody is, um, of course, shocker there. She's over here. And then Lexi and Casey are over there. And there's my lovely ghetto um, I don't know if you can see it or not. No. Sort of right there. Yeah. My paper blinds. Detest them. So, um, hope everybody has had a great day. Um, please do continue to keep me in your prayers. I just feel lost sometimes. I just feel so, so, so lost and a fish out of water. Like I'm on Mars or something. It's just, it's the weirdest feeling ever. Like you, you, you just want to wake up. You just want to wake up and find out this was all just, just a dream. Everything's going to be okay. You're, you're back where you're supposed to be. 
It's just hard. And nobody will ever understand living in one place for 42 years. And the last year has been hell. My mom's anniversary is coming up next month. God help me and my birthday's two days later. And, you know, last year was hard enough. And now this year, I'm not even near my neighbors, near the ones that I was the closest to. It's on a Monday, so it's not like anybody's going to be around. I'm going to try to convince myself it's just a regular old day, but we'll see how things go. So, um, thanks for listening, and I will see you when I see you. Bye, guys.